I had an eyelash in my eye. Nothing feels better than when you have something in your eye and you get it out. Oh best feeling. Let's talk today about some scientifically backed ways to prevent or treat the signs of aging, meaning fine lines and wrinkles, <gasps> the two devils in the skincare community. And I'm going to be talking about not only methods and things that have been proven, but also talk about the studies and cases that back up a lot of the things that I'm gonna be discussing in today's video. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first topic that I'm gonna be talking about in this video are lasers. At this point, I've talked about them on my channel in the past, and they are also the partner of this section of the video who is Nira. I've been using my at-home laser device from Nira for over 90 days now, and I have definitely seen some results. I'm gonna throw up my before and after so you guys can see right off the bat the experience that I've had. The before and afters I've actually shown in videos in the past when I've discussed my experience with the Nira laser, but I also have a picture in there showing what my eyes look like today. You can actually see results at 30 days, but obviously continued use, you'll continue to see results just like me. Now to discuss really quickly why I love the Nira laser, it is the first at home FDA cleared laser. It's painless, it's simple to use, and I also love that they offer a 90 day money back guarantee. Right off the bat, I will say I do have a 30% off code, which I'll put in the description box below in case you guys wanna experience some results like I have. That is the best deal you can get right now, so I would definitely take advantage of it if you're looking into investing in a skincare device like this. By heating up some of the cells in the dermis with the laser light, it causes the cells to have some limited amount of stress, which actually triggers the cells to release protein. In triggering these proteins, it helps with the building blocks of the cells, it helps with the elasticity of the skin, and overall, like I said, it's just gonna help with prevention of fine lines and wrinkles and also treating ones that have formed on the skin. Now, unlike other topical skincare treatments, the reason that I like this is because I'm able to incorporate something that targets my skin at the dermal layer, which is something that topical products cannot do. I've shown how I've used this in the past, but I'll go ahead and include a little short clip here just to kind of give you a brief rundown of how I use the Nira laser. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. I've already cleansed my skin and I don't have anything on it, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this down on my skin, hold the trigger, and then you'll hear the little jingles as you're doing it, which will signal if you have perfect contact or not. It's also adjustable, so you have five different levels. I use it usually around like two or three, and it takes me about two minutes. I typically like to do it at the nighttime, and that's that's literally it. Like, I'm good to go after that. Definitely check it out. They've got some amazing before and afters, which I'll also link down below on skin that is more mature than mine. So if you guys wanna see some dramatic before and afters, I would definitely check that out. The next topic I'm gonna to be covering are retinols. Now, retinols have actually been around since the 1970s. At first, they were used to target things like acne. However, as their usage had continued throughout the years, there was a significant improvement in fine lines, wrinkles, and signs of aging that was noticed. Retinol is known to trigger collagen production, stimulate new blood cells, and also smooth the skin. The stimulation of new blood cells is important because blood brings a lot of nutrients and oxygen to the cells in the skin. So when you have more pathways for that, it just encourages healthier skin. There was actually another study that showed retinol can actually boost the amount of hyaluronic acid found within the skin, as well as reduce the breakdown of collagen, which is when wrinkles and fine lines form. Now, if you have sensitive skin like me, I know retinol can be a little intimidating because it is known to sensitize the skin, as well as cause some forms of skin irritation. And so for that, I want to discuss an alternative. And that alternative is Bakuchiol, which is a word that I just figured out how to properly pronounce. <laughs> Bakuchiol is actually more friendly towards sensitive skin types because it is naturally derived. It's a plant-derived type of ingredient. Because of its popularity, it's becoming more well-researched. So there are some studies that show it could be as potentially effective as retinol is. Those benefits could include improvement of cellular turnover, the texture of the skin, as well as help with pigmentation. Now the next topic that I'm gonna be talking about is vitamin C. And vitamin C, similar to retinol, is one of those ingredients in skincare 
hair that has been tested and studied for several decades. And vitamin C is known as a powerful antioxidant, which is gonna help with the oxidative stress that our skin goes through at a cellular level every single day. It's also known to be helpful when it's used in combination with SPF because it'll kind of help prevent the ultraviolet ray damage that happens when you spend prolonged periods of time out in the sun. There's actually a very popular study that shows over the course of three months, the participants in this study used vitamin C regularly on their skin and it was actually shown that there was a vast improvement in wrinkles on not only the face, but the neck as well. There's also another study that shows vitamin C is very helpful in blocking the production of pigment within the skin, which is what causes dark spots. Now I'm sure a lot of us know the benefits for retinol and vitamin C and anti-aging. And the last kind of part of that trifecta when it comes to incorporating these in your skincare routine is SPF. Now SPF is obviously something that should be used every day, not only to prevent skin cancer, but also to prevent these signs of aging. I'm sure many of us have seen that very famous picture of the trucker who had a lot of sun exposure on one side of his face and not so much on the other, and you can see the dramatic difference. Now how does the sun cause our skin to age? Essentially the sun emits ultraviolet rays, which damage our skin at a deeper level, actually again at the dermal level. And so over time you'll see that damage kind of come towards the surface of the skin. So even though you might think that you don't have any sun damage, sun damage that happened years prior could start to appear on the skin. So it's best just to do your due diligence with applying SPF. I'm not saying avoid the sun at all costs, but I'm saying just practice some common sense when it comes to sun exposure. Wear SPF, wear hats and sunglasses. And also if I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the sun, whether I'm out gardening or walking my dog, I like to wear UPF protective clothing. It's just kind of an added layer of protection for my skin on areas that I might neglect. And on top of that, they now have a lot of companies and brands out there that have really cute clothing. Um, and so, you know, you can still be styling while you're protecting yourself from the sun. The next topic I'm going to be talking about is exfoliation. Now, exfoliation can occur in a lot of different ways, whether you're doing a physical exfoliant, a chemical exfoliant, or going into a med spa or dermatology office and getting a chemical peel. Exfoliation can help with aging in the form of helping again with cellular turnover. It removes all the dead skin from the surface so that encourages the growth of new skin cells. And on top of that, exfoliation also removes anything that might be sitting on the surface level of the skin, which potentially could block the absorption of other skincare products that you apply on afterward. There's actually a study in 2012 that was done regarding the effectiveness of chemical peels and exfoliation. With exfoliation, an increase in collagen fiber content, water, and glycosaminoglycans in the dermis have been reported. There is a suggestion that improvements in the skin elasticity and wrinkles after chemical peeling. Now, of course, again, if you're intimidated by chemical peels and you prefer to do something at home, I would definitely encourage looking into a form of chemical exfoliant, whether that's an AHA, a BHA, or now PHA, which is becoming more popular. PHA being the best for sensitive skin types, AHA being great for dry or mature skin, and BHA being great for oily skin types. All of these offer a lot of benefits for the skin, including preventing aging, and helping treat fine lines and wrinkles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, like I said, wanted to discuss some scientifically proven and backed ways to prevent signs of aging and wrinkles. And I definitely have been paying more close attention to these types of things since I am getting close to 30. And so yeah, I hope this is helpful. If you guys have any tips about anti-aging that you guys practice, please let me know in the comment section down below. And as a reminder, that 30% off the mirror laser is in the description box below in case you're curious about picking that up. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.